Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be making the famous tiramisu. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a tiramisu or apple crumble and a lot of you chose tiramisu and I don't blame you guys because it's amazing and I haven't had it in ages. So basically the recipe I'm going to be using is my mum's. She just freehands everything like all mums do and it still turns out perfect. But I know you guys would want ingredients and measurements so I'm going to try and measure everything and hopefully this turns out great. Right, that's enough rambling. Let's jump straight into it. First thing that you want to prepare is some coffee. I've just used Nescafe grains with some water. I would say like 500 ml. You don't need that much. So you want to prepare this first, let it cool down a bit. I'm actually going to use some of this coffee liquor. I think this is from France that my mum has kept. And you just want a tablespoon. Or a little bit more. tablespoon and a half I would say. Most recipes will say you need a strong espresso. I mean mine is just pure coffee so it's not like the strongest you can get out there but it's, it does for us. You can then set this aside. I'm then going to use 300 ml of whipping cream. I might put some more but we're going to see how this goes. And we're just going to whisk this a little bit. I do have 90 grams of sugar here, caster sugar, and we're going to slowly put this into the whipping cream and this should get really thick and you should be able to see soft peaks. I think I'm going to stop there, but it's very thick. I think I did it too much, but it's okay. The lighting could be better, but it's super late at night right now. This is the key ingredient. You're going to need some mascarpone. I can't say this in English. Mascarpone. Mascarpone. Mascarpone? Mascarpone. Mascarpone. And I'm going to be using 500 grams. Right, you just want to soften this up with your whisk. Then want to add in your cream. Okay, so we're going to need this. You're also going to need some sponge fingers. I get mine from Tesco. You can usually find them in Asda. Um, Asda and Tesco is where I've seen them the most. But yeah, please excuse the pan. Okay, I'm very disappointed in myself. I didn't know that our pretty one that was this size broke. Make sure you have clean hands for this bit. So for this bit, you want to take your lady fingers and dip them into the coffee, but not too much. You don't want to like over dip them. My coffee is quite cold, so I'm laying it like a few seconds. And you just want to lay these all on the base of the pan or the tin. So once you have your first layer down, you just want to start getting your cream mixture and just laying a thick layer on the top. So once you've laid down your first layer of cream, you can start doing another layer of biscuit. I was going to do three, but then my mum was like, no, you just need two. So I'm only doing two. I, I honestly don't know if this is going to turn out. I'm going to put the rest in.
And then finally, once you've covered everything with your cream, I'm just going to finally dust some cocoa powder. Just lightly. You can just use a darker one, but our darker one is too rich, so I'm just using a normal like milkshake kind of cocoa powder. I don't know, that looks awful, I feel like. I did ba a bad job with the um, decorating. All right, we're done with the tiramisu. We are done. This is what it looks like. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I think it will taste really nice. I don't know if I drench the fingers too much. This is really trial and error. This is my first time making it, so I don't know if I've done it right. I don't know, it looks kind of yummy. Like if I saw this in the restaurant, I'd be like, I want that. Do you know what I mean? Here's just a close up of it. It's actually really thick. It is recommended to leave the tiramisu in the fridge overnight. I have zero patience and I am gonna eat it now. And I feel like everyone in the house is waiting to eat it as well. My ingredients were really cold anyways, also my coffee. But if you leave it overnight, it just lets all the flavors and the biscuits and the cream combine together. Um, here it might be a little separated. I just wanna see how the layers are. I feel like I did a really bad job. But yeah, if you want a better result, definitely put it in the fridge overnight. And if you've used warm coffee, you really want to dip the finger in out in warm coffee. But it's better to just leave it cool down. I'm actually pretty happy with the way this looks. It's got nice layers. It's, it looks delicious. I'm not going to lie. And how perfect is this piece right now? I had to do a better close up of it. But I think that looks pretty bomb for my first try. I'm literally dying to try this right now. It's weird because like some of the biscuits are a little bit hard in the center and some of them are just perfect. I definitely need to improve on that but the taste of it tastes exactly like a tiramisu. Do you know what you can also do? Between the layers you can put dollops of um, Nutella and once you put it in the fridge and everything's cooled and kind of merged together it's like the best thing. We used to eat Nutella tiramisu in this like camp site that we used to stay in during our during our holidays when we were younger and we used to demolish those every night so yeah i might do that next time just add nutella in between the layers i'm so proud i mean can definitely improve with dipping the sticks in i've literally demolished it anyways i'm gonna go i hope you enjoyed this little it's really a testing video. I didn't think I could pull this off. I try my best to write down proper measurements in the info box. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Do let me know in the comments below what you want me to bake next. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. It really does help me out. And a lot of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. So please press on the red button. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.